Good morning everyone. So um yeah I've been actually up since seven. It's nearly eight now, but I've just been editing um last night's fit vlog because I was so tired I just didn't I didn't process I didn't do anything. I didn't even put it onto my laptop. So I've basically been doing that for the last hour and now I'm just uploading it. It's quite a short sorry if it's a bit boring yesterday. <laughs> didn't really do much. Um but I'm actually just going to read some of my book. This is the book that I'm reading. I've actually already read it. Read it last... I don't know if it's last year or like a year and a half ago. It feels like such a long time ago. And I find if I read them again, I feel like it just... Like new things come out of it. And I'm like, oh, I didn't realise that happened. You know, I kind of... First time I read a book, I always kind of brush past some things, I think. Don't really take it all in. So I'm reading it again. Love it so far. I'm halfway through. Wow, I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm halfway through at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to read, I usually read about two or three chapters before bed every night, but obviously I was so tired last night, <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me, it was literally before 10 o'clock, I was in bed by 10 and probably like sound asleep, I was just done with the day I think. Um, so yeah, I'm going to read a couple of chapters, the kids are just playing, as it's Saturday we can just relax, love relaxing and um, yeah, and then I'm going to get up and make some breakfast. And Graham usually comes back about nine for breakfast on a Saturday. Kind of make it a religious sort of um, routine that he comes back for Saturday breakfast just because we're all at home and we can all spend some time together, you know, in the morning before he gets off and goes back off to work because he's so busy, as always. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that and I'll probably see you in probably about half an hour. We need a rocket. Wow. It's yours. Yeah. It's got, it's a oh. fudge rocket. Fudge? Yeah. Wow, that sounds delicious. It's to eat. <laughs> a fudge teddy rocket. That I've got out of my pit. Don't shout at me. Oh, don't shout please, Alistair. Yeah, I've got out of my pit and I'm just, I've just stripped my bed. This is what this is. <sighs> yeah, I've just stripped my bed. I'm just about to put it in the wash and then um, I'll do the kids in a minute. But Graham's going to be back at nine. So we're going to have pancakes for breakfast. Do you want pancakes for breakfast? Yes. Uh-oh. Just made yummy pancake mix. Got my coffee stewing on the go. Violet's already having first breakfast, aren't you? Are you going to have pancakes as well? She just had rice. What are they called? Rice Krispies? Mm. You're hungry. Some yummy bacon to have with our um, pancakes as well. Put these on. Kids have got their pancakes. I've just done one so far in the process. Got bacon on the go. And, and Graham is just turned up so he's going to come in for breakfast as well we can have pancakes together i'm so hungry now yeah because it's num 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 alice is mr grumpy pants today um, no. yes you are yes you are yeah <laughs> he's literally had a face on him all all morning like ah, ah, like shouting at me <laughs> snapping Snapping at his sister. Snapping he's woke up on the wrong side of the bed, or he's woke up really ridiculously early, which is what I reckon. Not Did me. you get up early? Yes. Yeah. See. I can't go to sleep that well. Not me. But now you're tired now, aren't you? You're ratty because you're tired. Not me. No, not you. You get up. You, you're lazy bones. You're the opposite. Just doing the big clear up, and Graham decides to drop maple syrup on the floor. Thanks, husband. I don't know what it's right, I'm not going to put you in the naughty corner. Okay, clean down done. Don't you just have having a spotless kitchen for all of probably 10 minutes and then it will just start again, probably. All right, it's time to change beds and put new, new duvet covers on. And I'm going to do mine right now, actually. Try my new duvet cover out. Yes. It's a bit gross that I'm not actually going to wash it first. I do usually wash them first, but. I just need something on my bed right now, so I'm going to try it. Why is my belly rumbling? rumbling? Just eating loads. I actually kept my Jules Oxford style pillowcases so to put behind them, so I'm going to combine the yellow and grey. I just really love that. I actually do have quite a lot of yellow and grey in my bathroom. Um, I just 
I love it. It's just, I think it goes really, really nicely. It's not too, you know, much. Okay, I'm actually really happy with it. The quality is really, really nice. It just feels really silky and cosy and not stiff, you know, like some um, duvet covers can be really, like, stiff. But, yeah, I'm really happy. And my little pillow, if you're wondering, is from Primark. It was £5. I got it a couple of months ago, but it's, I think it's really cute. I think they still have it out. Um, but, it's kind of, again, it's kind of neutral, so it kind of goes. I'm still uploading my vlog which hopefully should be up in a couple of hours it's only half past nine um now i'm gonna strip the kids beds get that done graham's in he's with the children they're watching babe pig in the city i think okay i've changed alistair's bed kind of sorted out majority but i thought i'd show you his outfit so um he's wearing his jewels fleecy um I got jumper one of them. you do and it's lovely isn't it and fluffy Mommy, and then I'm going he's to wear wearing the same of alistair we'll see and he's wearing his little white company um just top just a white top it's really really nice really soft and then he's got his gap slim jeans which are kind of a little bit distressed i don't like this though because he likes to poke his finger through it so i think next time i won't get them the same sort of distress because he's kind of ruined it never mind they're really comfy though so that's his outfit for today and then violet done Violet's bedroom. You want to wear your fluffy as well? Yeah. Violet's got a fluffy. They do actually have these in the sale at the moment, which I'm tempted to get. Hers is the age four and fits her perfectly right now, but I want to get her the age five, I think. Um, yeah, so you can wear that if you want to, yeah? Get you some leggies out. These ones? Yeah. Yeah? They're soft. And you could potentially wear this one if you want to. That goes quite nicely. It's kind of Easter-y, yeah? Goes yeah. really well actually. Yeah, jewels, jewels. You saw those saw those in my recent haul. It's then, not a bird top. Yeah, well it's called Little Bird. See a little bird? This is this goes really nicely actually. You can wear that. No. I actually just got out of the shower and I'm just um, finishing off my makeup. Graham's still in. He actually went to see Karis and she's doing really, really well, so that's good. Uh, the kids went out with him. Um yeah, we're actually we've got family coming over tomorrow because it is Mother's Day and to be honest, we tried to um, book somewhere. I tried like two weeks ago. I swear, everywhere was booked. We have such a la large family. It's really hard to find somewhere to cater for like so many children. My brother has like six children. Um, and yeah, we just have a lot of children and a lot of family. So in the end, I've suggested everyone to come over to my house. We generally have more space and like outdoor space as well. Um, so yeah, it should be good. We've um, we actually kept one of our turkeys from Christmas. We froze it. So Graham actually defrosted it. Has been defrosting it in the last two days. It's quite big. Um, so we're having that. I'm going to cook that tonight, I think, and have it cold tomorrow. And I'm just going to do like a buffet style with just nibbles and a few treats. Um, and just well, it's Mother's Day, so I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. I want to just you know, have a good day tomorrow. Um, but it'll be lovely. So we're actually gonna head out in a minute. Once I've sorted myself out, I need to sort out my mop, um, to get some nibbly bits and snacky bits. I just hope it's not gonna be too busy. I should have done it yesterday. I don't know what's wrong with me this week. I don't know if it's because I'm daily vlogging. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of a few paces behind myself than usual. I've got a lot of washing to do as well. I feel like I've been washing all week once again, but I still have loads to do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sort myself out and then we're going to head out. I don't know if we're going to go to Waitrose or venture to Asda. I'm not sure. So I'm dressed. I'll show you what I'm wearing. This is a very old Jules top, which I've had for years. I love it. It's just a top that I actually don't ever want to get rid of. It's, it's really thick compared to like their new styles. Um, this one, I'd say it's probably about three years old and is super thick and amazing quality the quality has definitely got thinner and thinner like in the in the other styles of these tops that i've got um so yeah and i'm just wearing a layered top um, and then i've just got some primark skinny jeans which are comfy and my christmasy socks i live in christmasy socks still um yeah me and um graham were actually was actually looking at really really old pictures um last night just of us and just the children i think some came up in our sort of time hop thingy and um, i'm tempted actually to start growing my hair back out um i had it cut around december time for around christmas um, but it is actually growing i had it cut no joke probably not far back up to here so it's grown quite a lot so yeah i'm gonna trial it and see how I do with growing it out 
I'm kind of getting bored of the same style. It's not really that exciting. It's quite flat again. Um, or if I don't like it, I might just go for the full like chisel bob. Because my hair's quite straight. I feel like I don't, you know, really have to style it too much. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think if I should grow it out again. I did love having long hair. I'm not going to lie. It's just really, I love putting it in like big wavy curls and stuff. Where are they snuggling? Hey, <gasps> I thought you were in my bed. <laughs> right, where are we going? We're going to go shopping. Arrived at Morrison for a really quick shop, and hopefully, it does look busy to be honest. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. Where's Minty? So we've had lunch and I've done the clear up again. Uh, Graham's actually off back out to work. He won't be back now till five-ish, depending. Um, yeah, I've just got my steam mop out because um, when Graham dropped the maple syrup, obviously it's going to make the floor super sticky. There's just nowhere about it, so I'm going to have to steam up the floor. But I needed to do it at some point anyway. Just gave me an extra reason to do it now. So. Yeah, the kids are just playing and it looks like it's going to pour down with rain to be honest. It's gone quite dark and gloomy and yeah. The floor is cleaned. I actually um, did the bathroom, still drying, and I did the ensuite. The kids are actually, it's a bit sunny so I've had to shut all curtains because they're watching Hocus Pocus, which is a good film, isn't it? It's like 10 to 2 already. The sun's now suddenly decided to come out, which is nice. It's, it's a lot more clear sky. Um, I'm going to quickly finish off my video from yesterday because I still haven't got it up. But I've kind of um, thought I'd put it up a little bit later as well, is because I feel like a lot of people are finding it hard to catch up because I'm putting quite a lot of videos out at the moment. And I obviously want you all to watch them and I don't want you to miss anything. So, um, yeah, I'll probably try and get, get this one up now by two o'clock. Um, yeah, the kids will probably go off to mother-in-law's about th between three and four usually. Um, yeah, <laughs> not really doing anything else. It's a bit boring, really. But it's peaceful. I quite like it. <laughs> 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 she loves doing that, don't you? <laughs> Noisy baby Annabelle down there. Look at her. <laughs> Your little monkey's got a hair clipping. Cute. Annabelle's happy. Where are you going? Are you off shopping? No? Going back home. Going back home? They're going to bed turn the telly off because no one's watching it. Alistair's actually outside. Digging the usual, being a boy. Two bags ready for Nana's. Violet always takes her blanket, Alistair always takes Ted. Just had a bit of dramatic time. Alistair um, cut some skin off his finger. Don't know how he did it. Um, you back in? I'm actually cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> This is what I do. I get bored, so I clean. This probably sounds really odd. Bye, can you wash your hands in my bathroom, please? Because I've got flash stuff all around here. But yeah, I'm in the process of cleaning the sinks and love it. I might have a bath later, so I'm cleaning it as well. <gasps> nice, fresh, clean bath. With your toothbrush? Yes, with my toothbrush. No, it's just an old one, isn't it? So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing now. Just get bored. I can't sit still, it's my problem. It's a big problem that I have. Off to Nana's we go. Um, Nana only lives across the field. When the kids get older, like when they get to about 10 probably, they'll be able to walk over the field themselves, which would be nice. So the kiddies have gone and I just thought, well, as I've got lots of people coming over tomorrow, um, I thought I would sort my table out. So my table was an extendable table. Um, so I've just started pulling it apart and then you stick an extra bit in the middle. This was actually Graham's grand's table. I actually really have been um, kind of looking online how to like restore the chairs a little bit because they're really weathered. Um, in the old house they used to be quite in direct sunlight 
a lot um, and yeah they just look really worn out so I just want to um, looking to just you know making them look really pretty again even the table was really worn and and it just needs a, a really good varnish I don't know if it's varnish or sand and then I don't know you can get this proper pine so I think there's a special seal that you can probably put on them to make them look new again there we go I extended it and then I put this um sort of pvc cover thing i use this for the kids for when they like sit down on the carpet and stuff with food but it'll just protect it i got my daffies in the middle just made myself another tea this one is the apple and cinnamon again really really nice probably one of my favorites actually with the um you know with the um, peppermint licorice that's one of my favorites as well um i've just been eating a couple of dates oh they get quite addicted they're really super duper sweet so yeah quite kind of sick please you can't eat too many but yeah they are good a good light like, pick me up um hopefully graham should be back soon it's 10 to 5 i've literally just been like catching up on work stuff that i would usually be doing during the week i just thought well while i'm just like basically doing nothing waiting for washing to swap over and stuff like that i might as well be productive and partially watching like youtube videos and stuff as well so we can decide he mentioned about going to, we've got a new, I say new, it probably, ha I think it's been at least a year, We it's been in our local town, um, a new restaurant, a Thai restaurant, and we still haven't been there, so he suggested we could go there, but it just depends on if there's any availability, because obviously it's Mother's Day tomorrow, some people might decide to go out for dinner tonight, so it puts everything so busy, you know, and booked up, so um yeah we might do that i'd quite like to show you my little bunnies i brought out my when i was going through through the easter stuff i thought oh, i'm gonna bring up my little bunnies and i put them up there i have a bit of a hair or bunny obsession at the moment but look how cute i want to just keep them out forever i think it would be weird if easter bunnies were out for the whole of the years i actually read some of my book again just because why not before graham gets i'm in bed <laughs> I think I filmed a minute ago in bed, didn't I? Yeah, I was reading my book. Um, Graham's actually in the shower. It's like 10 to 6. I had a shower this morning, so I don't need to wash my hair. But we're actually going out to the Thai restaurant that I mentioned. I thought um, they'd be fully booked. But luckily, we got an early sitting at 7 o'clock. So we've got an hour, um, which should be nice. And I'm watching James Bond because it likes to be on the weekend for some reason. Um, yeah, so I'm going to choose what to wear. I'm just going to put on a nice top and just wear jeans. And we're going to have some Thai food, which I'm excited about because, honestly, I can't remember the last time I had proper Thai food. Okay, I am ready. Graham's actually gone to put the chicken to bed. It's like never ending, I tell you. Uh, we're going to leave very soon, but I thought I'd show you my outfit because I really like this top and I have worn it once before. Um, this is a top that I got from Matalan about two or three weeks ago maybe three weeks ago and it's just mustard it's kind of just a blouse it was about 12 pounds it was so cheap but i just i don't know i really like the color i like the cut and i've just got a chain necklace on which is from primark and yeah this is pretty much what i'm wearing i'm wearing my uh, new look um skinny jeans which are a little bit faded they're not as bad as the primark ones but they are you know they are getting more and more gray looking um, so yeah, this is pretty much what I'm wearing for this evening. I'm looking forward to some Thai food. I've, I've actually messaged my friend because, um, she goes to this restaurant quite a lot. Um, so I've asked her if she's got any recommendations for like food choices and stuff. Cause I honestly have no clue what we're going to choose. Um, yeah, but I'm looking forward to going out. I'm actually starving. So I'm pleased we've got an early sitting as well. Okay. Graham's outfit for the evening. I got out this shirt for him. It's not... Well, it was ironed but now it just looks a bit creased but this is a jewel shirt which is really nice it has a little bit of yellow in not that i'm going for like matchy matchy but you know i just think it looks kind of complimentary so yeah he's got his jewels shirt which i really like his levi's and then this is a bowden leather belt and then he's got these cute um desert boots i suppose i actually got these at the same time i got this top from matalan they're in the sale for um, £15, um, I think they were half price, so I got him those, and they're super, he's got quite wide feet, but they're super soft, and he says they're comfy, so that's what he's wearing. 
Betsy hurries up because we're going to be late. <laughs> it's like 10 to 7 already and we haven't even left. We always moan about us taking time and you know always running behind because the woman's doing her hair and blah blah blah. Well I'm actually always waiting on Graham I tell you. We are actually home already and tell you what the time is. It's five past nine. I swear we are the biggest party poopers, older old people. <laughs> but we um had an amazing dinner, it was really, really good. Would we'll definitely go back there. Um it was such a good meal. We um had like three starters to share and then we had um, two main courses to share as well absolutely bloated we couldn't have any pudding or anything so just so full up I had a Prosecco and a glass of red so I'm feeling a little bit like woohoo you know um, I think we just I'm literally going to put take this face off because I'm just so like need off I'm also going to get my PJs and I think we're going to watch a film seeing as it is Saturday night I can stay off later than 10 o'clock on a Saturday on a week weekend and um, yeah I think we're going to eat some chocolate <laughs> which I'm kind of looking forward to actually. Graham just filled up my wine glass. So if, um, look how massive this wine glass is. So if any of you watch Scandal, um, you'll know that Olivia Pope has massive glasses like this, like fishbowl glasses for her like really expensive red wine. And I kept saying to Graham, oh my God, I need some glasses like that. They're amazing, they just look amazing. And then he, um, a couple of weeks ago, he actually just found them in one of the stores. And they weren't expensive, they're quite cheap. But yeah, we kept looking online, couldn't find any as, as like big as this. And he found some. These are like special, not special, but like proper, like hefty fishbowl red wine glasses. Hiya, burning, burning. Mm -hmm. What the house? Yep. I was just telling everybody about my amazing fishbowl. Well, like yeah. That you got me. You found them, didn't you? In excess. In excess. Yeah. Where's the box? Oh yeah. They weren't. They weren't expensive. They're only cheap. Tell, yeah. But they were exactly what we were looking for. So yeah, first time trying them out. Mm. Goldfish in there. Amazing. Yeah, but goldfish, a tiny one. So I just want to say uh, thanks for watching. I really hope you're enjoying it so far and me and Graham are just going to chill out since it's still really early. Currently watching How to Train a Dragon. Um, Graham put the fire on which is gorgeous and I've got my red wine at the ready. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Let's hope the red really doesn't go to my head and I end up with a stinking hangover because yeah, that wouldn't be very good especially as it's Mother's Day. Um, but yeah, I will see you all tomorrow.